Hello all. I welcome you to our first video. In today's video we are going to see what engineering is. The topic might seem simple, but is vast and there is lots to learn. Come let's learn something new today. In order to understand the concept of engineering, we must know the definition of it. Engineering is the activity of applying scientific knowledge to the design, building and control of machines, roads, electrical equipment, etc. In simpler words, if you want to change the world or create something new, you require engineering. We couldn't have even thought of these without engineering. Similar to how we humans have evolved over time, engineering has also been evolving and developing. So now we will see a little bit of the history of engineering. Now we are going to see how and when engineering started. The concept of engineering has existed since ancient times, as humans devised fundamental inventions such as pulleys, levers and wheels. The first engineer know by name is Imhotep, the builder of Step Pyramid, called as Pyramid Djoser, around 2550 BC in Egypt. Though engineering has traveled with us for a long time, there were only two known streams of engineering before the Industrial Revolution in the 18th century. Those two streams of engineering are military engineering and civil engineering. Now let us see when a professional society was formed for each streams of engineering. Engineering has been developing ever since it was known to us. At present there are around 55 streams of engineering. Some of the latest streams of engineering are biomedical, marine, textile and agricultural engineering. In this part of the video, we will see the basics of engineering and how a generalized engineering process is carried out. Come let us see. Before I take you through the examples of biomimicry, let us take a look at its history. If we observe our nature and surroundings carefully, we can get solutions to several problems. Likewise one of the early examples of biomimicry was the study of birds to enable human flight. Although several attempts failed, the Wright brothers were successful in flying the first aircraft in 1903. They derived inspiration from the observation of pigeons. Now that you have an idea of what biomimicry is, let us see the examples of it. The first example of biomimicry is the Kingfisher Bird and Shinkansen Train, popularly known as the Bullet Train. As you all know Japan produces efficient high-speed trains. However, there was a drawback. When traveling at high speeds, and emerging from a tunnel, the trains would produce a sonic boom, a huge source of noise pollution. This resulted in local plague. So, the engineers turned to the Kingfisher bird for the solution. With their elongated beak, the Kingfisher birds can travel between air and water with very little splash. 
taking this as the source. The engineers redesigned the train, giving it a long beak-like shape in the front. With this simple upgrade, the engineers could reduce the noise of the train and also achieve 15% less electricity consumption and 10% faster than the original. The next example of biomimicry is gecko, a type of lizard, and super climbing. Engineers and researchers have been using the gecko's toes to create climbing material for humans. The toes of geckos have adhesive that is strong enough to allow humans to climb a glass wall. This allows humans to access glass buildings with ease. Now, let us see how whales and wind turbines are related. Though whales being the largest creatures, they are widely aerodynamic. The fins of the whale acts like wings of an airplane. The unique feature of the whale is the protrusion on its fins called tubercles. This unique feature is being used in the blades of wind turbines. This makes the wind turbine more efficient and is also quieter than the original. How many of you know spider silk is one of the strongest biological substance? There is something even more special about the spider silk. Several birds die after crashing into glass windows and doors. This is because it is nearly impossible for birds to identify transparent surfaces. So, the engineers took inspiration from the spider silk to create bird safe glass. As the spider silk reflects ultraviolet rays, because of this the birds can identify these reflective strands and avoid them. This saves a lot of birds. The butterfly's wings are an elegant feature, but also possess impressive solar properties. The rose butterfly has tiny cells on its wings and can collect light at any angle. Now the black wings have inspired a new type of solar cell that are two times more efficient at collecting light. This idea has improved the efficiency of solar cell drastically. How many of you have realized the benefits of engineering? So now let us see the benefits of engineering and why engineering is important. Before that, let me tell you an interesting quote. Scientists investigate things that already exists. Engineers create things that has never existed. It is science to describe electromagnetic radiation, but it is engineering to build a radio or TV. Many of the so-called wonders of modern science are really wonders of modern engineering. Does anyone know who said this quote? It is Albert Einstein. Now let us see the benefits of it. Before closing our video for today, let me tell you about a couple of new inventions in the engineering field. First one is creating a device to hack your dreams. A team of MIT scientists are creating a device to hack your dreams, so you can experience everything from flying to singing. The research is being led by MIT's Dream Lab. Ultimately the team are aiming to create a device, which would give the user control over the content of their dreams. Interesting isn't it? The next invention is CRISPR Gene editing for efforts to change DNA to treat diseases A team of scientists have used clustered regularly interspaced short palindromic repeats inside someone's body for the first time opening a new frontier for efforts to change DNA to treat diseases This is how engineering can be used in medical field With this we come to the end of today's video Hope you learned something new today Kindly subscribe to the channel and keep supporting. We'll meet you in the next video shortly.